And guess what? Today, in the heat of summer, I'm going to make a slow cooker pot roast. And you know, there's five good reasons. Here's the meat. Before I start cutting things and chopping and browning, it can be fall apart tender if you do it in your slow cooking. That's the magic of the slow cooker. You, the flavor will explode with your veggies in there. You see on the table here, I have all different kinds of veggies with the meat. And I'm going to put some uh, delicious beef broth in there to help to give it a little zing, okay? A little red wine. A little zing. So it's budget friendly. You can feed a lot of people with this meat. And variated, you can change it every different which way you want to do it. Okay. So there we have a little back talk on the chuck roast. Okay, so here's a chuck roast, piece of chuck meat. And this, this is where they seamed it out here. I'm just gonna trim off just a little bit of this and there's a little bit of a bit of this. I'm gonna trim it right off because I don't want to be have to eat this. This is like eating a shoelace, okay? We don't wanna do that. And if there's too much, too much, you see too much in here, it looks pretty good. The slow cooker is going to help to cook this very tender and it just seems right off. You just seam it right off, right here. Just seam it, seam it, pull it, seam it, and then cut it right off, just like that. Okay, I think he looks pretty good. I'm not gonna tie this, but what I am gonna do is pick him up and put him right in to brown him. And you hear, he is starting to brown. And we are going to rinse our hands while he's browning. And I'm gonna add a little salt and pepper on him as we continue on making this. Nothing like the sizzle of meat. Oh, sizzle of meat, you're right, Anthony. It's gonna be delicious later. And I have my tongs out and he's beautifully, you can use whatever you like in there, butter, vegetable oil, whatever you guys like to use. I'm using olive oil. And then what we're going to do is just give it just some salt, just a little salt, just a little salt right across the top, a little pepper, a little pepper right across the top, okay? A little oregano. Remember, I don't want to over salt this simply because I'm going to put beef broth two cups in to slow cook it on high four to five hours, on low four to eight hours, okay? Depending on your size of meat, okay? And you will test it. So we're browning that, and then I'm gonna flip him over. Oh, he's looking really well here. Anthony, I'll show you how he's browning really nice. See how he's browning, everybody? Very nice. And then what we're gonna do here now, while that's browning, while that's browning, I'm going to put just a little bit of flour on top of him because he's brown on this side. And the reason for the flour is it will help to thicken our sauce later because I'm putting in two cups of broth. Okay, so here we go. Let's start. While that's browning, let's just cut. I like it in chunky pieces. Let's just throw them right in. Chunky pieces like this. Onions right in. Chunky, chunky, throw them right in. Because they're going to cook. This thing's going to cook for four and a half, five hours on high. Or depending on your size, you can go low for eight hours. Okay. And there we go. Now we've got our onion in. All right. So let's go next with some carrots here. I've got some beautiful carrots. Boy, the color of these carrots is just great. They're going to be delicious. Cut things in bigger pieces, everybody. Cut them in bigger pieces so everybody who after this cooks gets a good sized piece of veggie, okay? Because this is your all-in-one, I'm going to serve the veggie dinner. All-in-one. Veggies. Prepare. We have somebody from Indonesia on the line. Well, hello from Indonesia. How are things down in the Far East? Denny okay. Gaming. It's Denny Gaming. Say hi to Denny Gaming. Hello, Denny. Okay, so here we go. And we've got in our Nangan Hal carrot. And then same thing, big pieces on your celery, everybody. There we go. There we go. That's a little bit too corey. I don't think I'm gonna use it. And then we're gonna go right in 
right in with Hello from Singapore. Oh my goodness, Singapore! The commentator. Somebody, somebody tell me what time it is in Singapore. Yes, what time is it now, right now in Singapore? Okay, so here we go. I've got some mushrooms going Oh my here. God, look at that mushroom. These are beautiful portobellas. We're gonna use portobellas today. In with our meat, right on top. Look like it, look at that. Let me get a shot of that. Beautiful. That looks like it was hit with a gigantic ray gun or something. Okay, and I'm gonna <laughs> cut them across and cut them and cut them and cut them and come so everybody gets a nice piece of cooked. Says you're good at cooking. You know how to chop. <laughs> and we're going to get this in, and I've got one more piece here of our portobello mushroom, and then we're going to go, last thing, to our... Oh, it's 1225. 1225. AM or PM? Oh, it says PM. PM, okay. Okay, so it's noon there, so a couple hours ahead of us. Okay, so here we go. Last thing in, before I put the... is the potato. So we're going to take the potatoes and I want to cut them up so they're all about the same. If you see any eyes on here, just take them off. Alrighty. Potatoes on the top so they don't disintegrate. These are nice red potatoes. Do you play Fortnite? He's asking, do we play Fortnite? No, we don't have that game yet. It looks like fun though. <laughs> okay, so we're going to get these cut up. And just like this, right on top. All of this is gonna shrink down as it cooks. Remember that, because we're gonna cook this for a bunch of hours in there. And we're gonna get some potatoes going here. And if you see any eyes, just cut them off. Perfectly good on the potatoes. And right on top. And here we go. And wow, look at that. It's all filling up our pot. Remember, it's all going to cook down. And you're going to have a delicious gravy in here. Because I gave a little flour on top of our meat. All right. So there we go. Okay. So now what we're going to do is I've got two cups of beef broth over here with just a little red wine in there for flavor. Ooh, that sounds good. Okay, and in it goes, right on top, just like that, just like that. Beef broth, you can use chicken broth if you want, but beef broth, we're making beef, so let's make use beef, okay? All right, and that's all there is to it, everybody. We're gonna close the lid, and I can't wait for this, five hours, four and a half, five hours from now. Close the lid, and I'm going to set this on slow cook. And I'm going to put meat, and I'm going to set it, and we've got it. So as the guy on TV used to say, we're going to set it and forget it. So there we have it. I thank everybody for watching. We appreciate all the likes, subscribes, and the sharing. And so this is Peter Carpizzo's making beef pot roast today in the slow cooker. And as always, Pete out. Thanks y'all for watching.